Rested and regimented, I'm Stuart Hughes with your Bees Bulletin. A week off work does us all the world of good, so is it any wonder that nine unexpected days without a game recharged Brentford's batteries despite the long trip to Blackburn? We played the script perfectly from the start against Tony Mowbray's strugglers and Vitaly Janelle sent a slightly over-enthusiastic early message of intent. A meeting with bottom of the form table rovers felt like the perfect hunting ground for Ivan Tony to take advantage of and it didn't take long for that to come to pass. Ball play through the centre, here's Tony. Tony's got a good option on the left with Fossil. Fossil in the box. Oh, he's caught there, surely! Yeah, Fossil yeah, Dengue has given a penalty. Well, when he first blew, I thought for a second he's going over to book him for a dive. Yeah. But it did look like a penalty from here, and uh, indeed it is. Lucky, lucky we don't have to go for the uh, VAR rigmarole. Yeah. It was a great, great play from Brentford. Again, they're winning the ball in the midfield, and then they're just going. And... The Blackburn defence have no cover in front of them. The, the midfielders are just not helping them at all. And as soon as Brentford win the ball back, they, they're just on, on the Blackburn defence. And that was, you look like he'd made the wrong decision there. When uh, Fosu came inside, you're thinking, you've lost the chance. But he's great feet. I thought he was going to shoot. Yes. Defender yeah. thought he was going to shoot. He's chopped inside. And yeah, it's a penalty. Ivan Tony, as always, trying to stare out the keeper. Kaminsky. Tony against Kaminsky. In the far corner, he doesn't miss. Ivan Tony opens the scoring inside 10 minutes. It's Blackburn Rovers nil, Brentford 1. Rovers were efficient enough at set pieces in the first half, but otherwise somewhat disjointed and lacking in coherence. Blackburn's half-time changes, as well as the direction of the wind and the rain and a boggy pitch, played to the host's advantage, allowing Rovers to find some consistency, as Mother Nature made things more difficult for us. A few more goals would have been welcome, and the weather dampened the second half spectacle, save for a late pulse quickener. It's across to Tony. Good cross by Tony. Now the header comes in. Big chance. What a save that is! A brilliant save by Kaminsky from Marcus Force to keep the game just at 1 0. Incredible save there. Godos, nice ball through to Tony. Can Tony make it safe here from a tight angle? He's gone into the side netting. What a save that was by Kaminsky. That was an outstanding save. I'm not sure how much... He, he just made himself big, didn't he? And he's just jumped out. And think, if you're heading that, you're going to head it down. But, yeah, it, unbelievable save. Good play from Brentford, but it's got to be scoring from there. But best wishes to Bradley Dack as he faces what looks like another long period of rehab. Ben Burgess thought it was a more entertaining encounter than the scoreline suggested. It was a great performance, I think. All over the pitch, they worked as a team. You could see that. The first half, they completely dominated. Second half, they were up against it because Blackburn had some good players on there. They were getting on the ball, but still, Brentford stayed strong in defence. They still looked dangerous on the counter-attack. They had probably still had the best chances in the second half. Their keeper made a wonderful save. But yeah, it was a really good game. It was 1-0, but a lot seemed to have... I there, feel like I've been here four hours. Yes. There's a lot's <laughs> happened today, and... Um, it's a thoroughly deserved win. 1-0 away against Blackburn. It's a fantastic result. Having such a poor record here, hopefully it's the start of a winning run for us all. Ivan Tony and Thomas Frank told Sky Sports, we did no more than what was needed. We knew it was going to be tough coming here on a Friday night. Obviously, the pitch wasn't the best, but we dealt with it and we managed to get the three points. We've been in there. We've been digging it out and uh, we've got the reward in the end. I don't think we was lacking too much. We were just playing the pitch, which obviously the way we play, we need a nice pitch to play on. Obviously, it wasn't the best, but we dealt with it. And uh, fair play to them. They pushed us to our limit, but it showed character that we got in the dressing room. And uh, not just the players starting, the players coming on as well, done their part and uh, got us over the line. The championship is um, a relentless league in many ways. There's so many different circumstances that you need to, to handle. Um, I'm very proud of the team. Very difficult condition, unbelievable difficult uh, pitch to play on. And that's also why we decided to go longer um, at times, to not make a simple mistake in our own third. I uh, still wanted to do a little bit more in the final third, but we created more uh, chances and our, our pressing game was good. And I think we um, created the chance that we needed to do to win the game. But in terms of our ambitions for the season, we're back in the automatic places for half a day at least, depending on Saturday's fixtures. Cardiff versus Watford and Luton versus Swansea are the games Bees fans will be keeping a close eye on. In terms of the factors we can control, it's Derby County at Pride Park on Tuesday. And I'm here to offer you a one-time only money-back guarantee. The next edition of Bees Bulletin won't contain a single reference to Wayne Rooney. That's your Bees Bulletin. 
Listen wherever you get your podcasts from or through your smart speaker and get all the latest Brentford news first and fast by following Bees Bulletin on Facebook and Twitter.